I want you to look at this cup right here. It has the international symbol for no, and it says whining. No whining. In my book, How to Be a Sales Superstar, Break All the Rules and Succeed While Doing It, in Chapter 6, we talk about it's all about the attitude. And one thing I know in attitude is that there's no whining, no bitching, no moaning, no groaning. No matter what problem or obstacle, if you compare it to somebody else's, you're doing well in life. Whining won't support you. It won't help you. It won't fix it. It won't grow you. And as a matter of fact, anybody around you who does this on a daily basis, whether it's your spouse, whether it's your relatives, whether it's your friends or coworkers, I would invite you to try to explain to them that that does not support you and how they could support you better by not whining. And if there's a whole group of people around you that do this on a daily basis, I would invite you at the end of the year to write down who they are and think about how you can get them to do less of it or how you can spend less time with them or how you can cut them out of your life because it is all about attitude. You've been told, and probably we've all heard this, that it's about 90% attitude. It's not. It's 99.9% .9 because anything else you do in life, if you don't have the right attitude, it's never going to matter. Um, I believe you got to have an attitude of servitude and an attitude of grow, uh, gratitude. When you get out of bed in the morning, you have to ask yourself, what am I grateful for? No matter what your uh, lot in life, no matter how bad you think it is, the reality is somebody has it a whole lot worse than you. So you have good things going for you. You just got to be grateful for it for something else good to happen. Number two, if you do not do that, then you wind up worrying. And we all have done it. And we all know that we could take something small and make it big or something big and make it larger than what it really is. And there's a phrase about worry that says that worry is paying interest on a debt not yet due. And I would invite you to get that out of your life and to start off with something positive if you, if you can in your day, whether it's reading, whether it's a quote, whether it's something that will drive you in the right area. How do you start your day? A lot of times how you start your day is how you continue and how you end your day. But I would start off writing down how do you start your day, how do you end your day. Another thing I would invite you to look at is this. There's a tree of success. And that is your thoughts create emotions. Emotions create your words, both your inner dialogue and outward. Your words create your actions. Your actions create your habits. Your habits create your character. Your character creates your destiny. So if you look at that tree, it all starts with what? Your thoughts. And then when you, when you have emotions, the emotions can get out of control, both good or bad. If it's bad, they can create dialogue within you that's so negative that it begins to create an outer world. Your inner world always creates your outer world. So start looking at everything around you. How much news do you watch? Who do you surround yourself? Who are the top five people? What, what do you think about most in your day? Write down every single day, what did I dwell on most? And begin to try to change that. Whatever you focus on most is what you're going to bring into your life. More of it, whether it's good or whether it's bad. I want to give you an idea. Let's look at this cup. We've all heard the metaphor that... <coughs> We've all heard the metaphor that if you have a cup, that if you're a positive thinker, that it's half full. And you've heard the metaphor, it could be half empty. Well, I don't think either one of those are true. I think it's all perspective of attitude. You see, this cup is always completely full. Why? Because if you got half water, it's got to be the other half is filled with air. It's a matter of perspective. And you say, well, that's silly. It's not silly because every single thing that you look at in your life is a matter of perspective just like that cup being half full or half empty. Take a step back and think about what am I going to do today to attack everything with the right positive mental attitude. And it's not trite. It's not fluff. It's not motivational. It's a fact. People who do well in life tend to focus on the positive or what they can do rather than what they can't do. And I invite you to start looking at your life in that way. And one of the things I think will help you, I'm the author of this book, How to Be a Sales Superstar, Break All the Rules and Succeed While Doing It. And if you go to this website, if you go to superstarbookvideo.com, 
You can get the first chapter for free. You can get a bunch of free bonuses, and I think it will help you greatly in not only gaining and maintaining a superstar attitude, but doing everything you want in your life to succeed and get the results that you want. I'm Mark Tewart, and here's to you having a superstar attitude.